Hi, this is Elizabeth Denning. She, um, she's getting ready to do a seventh grade project in her science class, and um, so she's here to tell about it. So, what do you have there in your hand? These are my blueprint plans. Um, this is my original plan, but that wouldn't have worked out since it was a bit complicated, and the pulley wouldn't have worked. Here's the second plan, and that's the one we're going to do. But it's not special enough to turn in to my science teacher. So I just redrew it in this plan. And it's better artwork and it's more understandable. So if you, <coughs> if you um, tr turn the fishing reel, that'll bring the screw on, which is the rest. It'll go up. So if you the ball that's inside of it, it'll go around the screw. It will drop into a tin can, which will be this one. It will drop into that, which is on the lever. That will make it go down. And then attached to the lever, lever is um, a wire holding a golf ball in place. <coughs> so when that goes up, that goes up all the way over there. And the golf ball is released. Um, it, it's... It hits the nail or whatever we're going to use for that. <coughs> and then when it hits the nail, it'll push that car with a needle on it and then it'll pop the ball. Mm okay. So this is what you have done so far, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what's your limits on the space that you can use? 45 centimeters. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, looks like you've got a lot of tools here and a lot of uh, um, miscellaneous items that you can use to build this. So, uh, so have fun and don't get hurt and uh, do a good job, okay? Hello. Hi. Um, can you tell us your name? I'm Terry Denny, Elizabeth Paul. So, what are you doing in the garage? Uh, I'm watching what you're building on this Rube Goldberg machine. So, I noticed the, um, your drawing has everything going in a straight line here from here all the way here. But you only have 17 inches by 17 inches by 17 inches to work with. So, so I see you decided to um, make it kind of go this way and then turn this way and then turn this way. And that's a good idea, I think. Mm -hmm. So. And so I see you're, you're finishing the base here right now, right? Yep. And you're going to screw these in here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it looks like good progress so far. So, what's the purpose of this Rube Goldberg machine? Uh, it's, the purpose is, the end purpose is to pop a water balloon with a little car that has a needle in it. You're finishing the base here right now, right? Yep. And you're going to screw these in here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it looks like... Okay, that sounds good. Sounds fun. Yep. So, out of 10, how would you rate your progress? Uh, out of 10? Um, I guess about 8 so far. Okay. So, how long do you think uh, it'll take to get this finished? Um, maybe the rest of the day and maybe another day. Alright. Sounds good. Yep. So, ready to start working on it? Uh, yeah, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Update time! So, what are you doing? Uh, we're making a track 
for the golf ball to roll down. Um, I'm using these large stirring chopsticks and it's going to go down the track on this other side if you can see it here. It's going to go down, ride down these rails, hit the end and then do something and release and let the car go down. So we're kind of working on both ends of the, both ends in the middle of the project at the same time because I don't know any other way to do it. So would the golf ball, would the golf ball fit? Oh yeah, it does. And it's half the end, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. So I tried to measure this so it would be just the right size apart. So this is going to be just a press fit again. And so I don't have a drill just the right size. So I'm trying to ream this out just slowly. So it'll be just the right size and press you it. You point in. it over to the left a bit. Okay, we're getting close. We're back again. Update time. Okay, so the ball does roll here, uh, but just barely. In fact, if the floor is not real level, you'll see it doesn't roll. So I think the garage floor here has a little slope to it, so it's actually not going too downhill now. So I'm going to have to adjust this and, and lower these, lower this end or raise the other end mm -hmm. so it'll have a more reliable slope and we won't get caught in a situation where this doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Well, is this going to be where the wedge is? I mean the nail or something that'll push in the car? Uh, that's going to have to change too since this the whole thing is not in line like the original drawing. Uh, the original drawing showed that the golf ball was going to push a little peg and that was going to bump the car and bump it past the level part and roll down the hill. But since we're not going, uh, since our, our whole machine is not in a straight line, we're going to have to use some other means to uh, to use the golf ball dropping to release the car so uh, I've got some ideas but um, it's not going to be a, it's not going to be pushing a pin here or if it is it's going to have to be a little modified from the original drawing okay, okay. so that's all for now bye update time so the re-drilled holes work they were up here, uh -huh. and so the rods didn't make a very good slope, and the, the ball didn't roll down very fast. But they're, they're moved down, so it has a much better gradient. Yay! So, yeah, that'll be reliable, and even if the floor is not quite level, it should roll down with good enough force. It's good. You're gonna have to cut some of this pipe off, huh? Yeah, I will later. Um. So, you wanna film the little rolling down the screw? Mm, not right now. Okay. Okay. It's enough for now. Bye.
So what have we got here? Uh, this is what we have so far. <sighs> Can you explain some of it? Uh, well, I have the lever thing here. I changed from the pencil because this pencil was really too short. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to have enough movement. So this will uh, this will release the golf ball. The ball drops here. The steel ball. Can you do that again? Ball you ready? Drops steel ball. Let's that go down. So now we have to. Uh, well, I'm going to cut this hose now. I think short and tie that down. Cut so it. So it's straight okay. over. Oh, okay. And get that done. We'll be done with the first part. Then we have to worry about how we're going to make the golf ball trigger or release the car. Mm -hmm. Then we'll be about done. Oh, one thing I've done here. The car will be on this and ride down. This is a piece of laminate floor mm -hmm. with uh, two chopsticks wired on to keep it in line. And so this will be the final step before it pops the balloon. But we need to uh, we need to work on the mechanism to release the car next. Jacob helping out very much. Oh yeah, he's been a good dog. Jacob, come here. Jacob, have you been a good dog? Come here. Oh, sit, sit. Jacob, sit. Okay. So, that's all for now, huh? Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, the first few steps are ready. The ball is going to drop right into the can because uh, I cut the hose short and tied it down so it's ready to go. So, uh, Elizabeth, start the machine see what we have going so far. Yeah. It all goes real fast, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take the ball out of the can first. There. Good so far. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, it's ten ten forty four p.m. and I think I've got something that'll work now. Let's see. Yep, so far. So good. We still need to put a needle on the car so it can pop the water balloon. That's supposed to be the last step. Looks like it might work. All right, one more time. Didn't drop the car this time. Set. 
two out of three. Actually, it's only failed one time, so looks pretty good. Okay, this is pretty much the finished product. We're here uh, uh, making another test run. We just ran one and it popped the balloon. So, again, the ball rolls down from the top here. Well, first of all, fishing rod pulls the fishing line, raises up the tubing. Ball goes down the tube, hits the lever. Lever releases the ball. Lever releases golf ball. Rolls down these two cooking chopsticks. Hits another chopstick. Pulls the string and makes the 57 Ford pickup with the cool <laughs> spike header grill roll down the ramp hit the balloon and pop and we've got some help filming this today this is craig hagney from across the street say hi craig hi craig <laughs> <laughs> he had to see what we were doing over i here. did he couldn't stand it anymore i couldn't stand it. been working on this all all weekend or most of the okay here we go okay. oh yeah sorry here Okay, so I'm in seventh grade and this is a project for science. I have Mr. Collins. Um, it's a Rube Goldberg machine consisting of a few, quite a few simple machines. My task is to pop the balloon and it'll go down a spiral and screw. First, first I'll have to activate it with this fishing rod. I'll go down the, um, hit the lever. Um, the ball will go in there, causing weight, releasing that, which is releasing the ball, hitting the chopstick, uh, bringing that little string taut, um, and that truck has spiked grill, so that will pop the balloon. Okay, trial one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. On the film, it looked. It, I heard the pop even before the truck had won't gone down. I thought it was a, a fixed, fixed yeah, experiment the, or something. It looked like yeah. What you call it? The the shutter speed, <laughs> the lag time. Or was someone shooting it with shooting at it with a BB gun? Yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say you should hide on the other side of the classroom with wow. the BB gun. That's two out of two because this is actually the second. Full run. This is going to be a total Yeah, well, the best way to set it up is to go. Yes. Oh, make sure the ramp is yeah. it flush keeps with it. Every time. Oh, okay. Must be the. Oh, it hits the. It hits the milk carton and pulls it away. That's what's happening. 